Hello, hello. My name is Alana Love. Um, I am a yoga teacher and welcome to my page. Um, I today in this video am going to be sharing with you really awesome breath work that I've been excited to share with you for quite a while now. It is called Kapalabhati breath, otherwise known as breath of fire. Kapalabhati literally means shining skull. So imagine yourself radiating like a sun from the inside out. Um, this breath is an invigorating breath work. It is an energizing breath work. It is a warming, heating breath work. It is a, did I already say cleansing and detoxifying, cleansing your airways and your nasal passages from the inside out. Um, if you have any blood pressure issues or any other doubts about practicing a breath work, please um, make sure to talk to your doctor before trying this out because this is quite a powerful breath. It is kind of all about creating this sun-like powerful energy, um, otherwise known as prana, our life force energy. So kind of revitalizing ourselves. It is also not only known as a pranayama or a breathwork practice, but it's also known as a kriya or a cleansing technique and yoga. And it is best done before your asana practice. So before the practice of movement and postures. So, um, for all of the reasons I mentioned just now, all of these great benefits, um, but especially because we are moving into the winter months now, into the colder time of the year. And so I really wanted to share this breath work with you as a way to kind of build that heat and build that fire and warm yourself up from the inside out. So, um, yeah, that is a little bit about Kapalabhati breath for you. Um, you always want to start off, of course, by taking a comfortable seat or a comfortable position, maybe in a chair or rooting your sit bones down onto the earth or a block, um, and start by finding a tall, long spine. You want to find some space in this region, right, rather than being hunched over and closed off. Okay, so this breath in particular takes place down in this area here, otherwise known as our dantian or our hara um, in Chinese tradition. And it's a couple inches just below the navel. And it's really this center right here, um, kind of the seat of our, of our core, the seat of our home body that this breath takes place in. And it is a, a very important here. It is a, an active exhale and a passive inhale. So every time you breathe in in this practice, just let it be totally natural and passive. Um, the exhales are the part that we're putting the focus on. So powerful, forceful exhale, almost like a pumping, a pumping, or you'll start to notice like a heartbeat of the belly. So pumping the navel back toward the spine, almost like a sucking it in, but you're exhaling out. So don't get that <laughs> twisted up. Um, this breath takes place through the nostrils, through the nose, and I'll kind of show you how it looks from the side. So you wanna start off, so just watching me first, and then we'll practice together. You wanna to start off with a deep breath in. And then you can start by exhale and pumping back. And so you can kind of see what that pumping breath looks like. So we'll go for about 30 rounds together. And then at the end to complete, just take a deep inhale in, hold at the top for a few counts, and then you'll release and just sit in silence. So I'll guide you through it, all right? So find your comfortable seat, find some length along your spine, and you might even bring your hand to your belly to just feel how it feels and, and feel that pumping action there. So deep breath in. And together.
release. Release hands to the side, close your eyes, and just notice what you feel. Great. So hopefully you feel a little bit more energized and invigorated or maybe a little bit more warm than you did before. Um, and always know that with these practices, you can take them at your own pace. So if you're not, your breath isn't going as fast as mine, that's totally fine. You really, especially with this breath, want to be aware and be mindful as you do it. So it's not necessarily about how fast you're going with the breaths. It's really much more um, about making sure that the technique is you're doing is right. So be mindful with it. Don't rush through it. Go at your own pace with the pumping. And um, this one I sometimes can also help with um, some belly stuff um, to kind of increasing that, whatever we call in yoga, agni or digestive fire. But it is best done on a um, empty, on an empty belly. So um, if you have any questions about this breathwork practice, Kapalabhati, known as Breath of Fire, or any other yogic technique you want to see or feedback from me, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear and I'd love to connect with you and, of course, share this video if it helped you. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful, sunny, warm day, even if you're in the winter and the overcast like I am right now. Um, and thank you so much for being here. Namaste.